Okay, so I'm looking at blood pressure and regulated by the kidneys. Okay, so we start with homeostasis here where we've got a normal glomerular filtration rate. A decreased blood flow to the kidneys can be caused by either decreased systemic pressure, a decreased blood volume, or a blockage in the renal artery or a contributory. Okay, so this causes decreased filtration pressure and decreased filtrate and urine production. Now this can directly simulate the production of erythropoietin by the JGA, um, which simulates erythropoiesis and red blood cell formation and maturation, which increases blood volume there. Okay, so and when that happens, the JGA um, increases the production of renin. Now, angiotensinogen, a protein produced by the liver, um, is then converted by renin to angiotensin 1, which is then converted by angiotensin converting enzyme of the lungs to angiotensin 2. Now, this constricts efferent arterioles directly, it secretes aldosterone by adrenal glands and directly increases sodium retention. Aldosterone also does this. Now, it stimulates the central nervous system to cause thirst, ADH production and sympathetic motor tone. Now, thirst obviously increases fluids consumption which directly increases blood volume. Uh, also, the ADH production, increase of this, increases fluid retention by the collecting duct of the kidneys, also increasing blood volume. And increased sympathetic motor tone causes constriction of venous reservoirs. It increases cardiac output by, if you look here at the um, equation, cardiac output is stroke volume times heart rate, so it increases stroke volume and heart rate to do this. Now, it also causes vasoconstriction. Now, cardiac output and vasoconstriction directly increase systemic blood pressure, whereas constriction of venous reservoirs, fluid retention, fluid consumption, and sodium retention increase blood volume. Now, these all increase systemic blood pressure and return you back to normal glomerular filtration rate homeostasis.